Hey, it's Skip, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play a little solitaire game called 40 Thieves. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're always notified when new videos are posted. Alright, let's dive in and learn how to play. In order to play 40 Thieves, all you need is two standard 52 card decks. They do not need to be identical. Alright, with 40 Thieves being a double deck game, it's actually going to have a monster of a layout. So to set up for the game, you're going to create 10 columns. In each column, there are four cards. The proper way to deal is to deal out one row at a time. So you would deal from left to right, 10 across, and then the next row overlapping, 10 across, and so on until you have 10 columns with four cards in each one. The rest of the cards form the stock, and the way this game is played, you can either put the stock on the table or hold it in hand. Aces are used to begin the foundation piles, and each foundation pile is built up from ace to king within that suit. Aces are to be released from the tableau as soon as possible. So here at the end of the deal, we have an ace that is available. So we're going to go ahead and move it. And we just began our first foundation pile. And that goes at any time during the game. At any point an ace is released or unveiled from the stock, it is moved up to the foundation row. During play, each column is built downward and only the top card of each column can be built upon. Columns are built in descending order according to suit. So for this five of spades, only a four of spades can be placed on top of it. We're beginning the game here with a few possible moves and we're gonna go ahead and move the three of clubs over to the four of clubs and then the two of clubs on top of the three. Now. I'm going to put it out there that this might not be the best move because I ended up building on top of an ace, making that ace harder to uncover. Again, you can only move top cards. So now in order to uncover that ace, I will have to move the two and then move the three and then move the four. And the only way that's going to happen is if I get an ace of clubs out to begin a club foundation. As you can see, we've got an ace of clubs buried over here. That one's gonna take a while to get to, especially since it's buried under some twos. So we're gonna to have to wait on an ace of clubs to be revealed from the stock. Again, this might not have been the best move, but I wanted to demonstrate how you can move cards. Also during play, you may turn up one card at a time from the stock. We have a six of clubs. It can be played on the seven of clubs. If you choose to play it, you add it to that column. Then check your tableau for any new moves, and then turn the next one up. Queen of Clubs. There is nowhere for me to play this Queen of Clubs, so I begin my waste pile. The top card of your waste pile is always eligible for play. So now I will have two active cards that can be played onto the tableau or onto the foundations. Cards from the stock or the top card from the waste pile can be played onto a foundation directly. So here we have a seven of hearts. I can play that on the eight of hearts and I turn the next card over. Six of diamonds. The six of diamonds cannot be played, so I add it to the waste pile. Now you can form your waste pile in order to see all the cards. That is perfectly fine. If you wanna make the game more challenging, you can create a single pile in which the lower cards are hidden. And there is just one more important rule you need to know. If at any point you empty a column, you may use that space to begin a new one with any top card from the tableau, the top draw card from the stock, or the top card from the waste pile. So we have a lot of options here, but I think the king of clubs is the best choice for starting a new column. And then from here, of course, you would have to play the queen of clubs, jack of clubs, and so on down. And that is the gist for how to play. You continue working through your stock, your waste, and your tableau, trying to build up your eight foundation piles. If you successfully build up eight foundation piles from ace to king, you win. If you get blocked, the game is lost. If you would like to increase your chances at completing this game, then deal out the tableau as normal, but also begin the game with all eight aces in the foundation row. All right, let's play some 40 Thieves. I, I'm, I might not do a complete playthrough of the game, uh, just to be a little more succinct with how long this video is. Now, this is an app I'm going to link to down in the description. Um, and it has a whole list of solitaire games that you can play. So 40 Thieves is obviously on that list. 
All right, so we have our deal here, and we do not have any aces dealt out to begin the game. Again, you can build down your piles according to suit based on the top card uh, in each pile or column. I do not have any initial moves to make. So I don't have a 10 of hearts showing. All right, so we'll flip a card. This game plays where you can just double click and it will automatically send the card to the best uh, pile. I, I suppose it knows which is best. Okay, no cards there. I'm looking for eight of hearts. There we go. Okay, so a single click moved it for me. Now, do I have any seven of hearts showing? No, I do not. Next card. So I'm the club showing. Oh, wait, I can make a move here. So let's see. I want to keep that ace safe. Let's see where it... Ah, so it automatically moved the seven over to this ace, burying the ace of hearts. I don't want to do that. I'm going to put that there. And now I just need a nine of spades. Jack, nowhere to put that. Let's see if it'll allow me to move. Yep, so this version does not allow you to move more than one card. Some versions do, and that, that makes the game easier to win or complete. Uh, no ten of hearts around. There we go. Our first foundation has started. Okay, Queen of Spades is buried in her there. So according to Bicycle, this is most likely the version of Solitaire that Napoleon played after he was um, forced into, into seclusion. Um, I can't remember the name of the island, St. Helena or something like that. But uh, yeah, after Napoleon was was booted, this is historically or traditionally what he played in seclusion. Oh, oh, okay, I can move. Let's do the six there and the five there. Now I've unveiled a queen of hearts. I need this jack. Um, I think I saw a ten of hearts previously. Can I do anything with the seven of clubs? Nope. Five of hearts, nothing. Four of hearts. Well, that's nice that they're in order. Eight of clubs. I can't use that. Nine of diamonds. Yeah, I'll bring that down. Make sure it gave me a good position. Do I have an eight of diamonds? Nope. So I, I know based on the layout of the tableau that quite a few aces are in the stock. So I'm not sure if this version lets me go through the... Oh, see, my score drops with time. Ooh, interesting. I'm not sure how many times this game is going to let me go through the stock. We'll just have to find out together. If you would like to play... As I said in the video, an easier version of this, there's a few ways you can modify the game. First is by dealing out all eight um, aces to begin the foundation piles right off the bat. That's a good way to do it. Um, you can also play where you can see the, the waste pile by having them staggered. Uh, you can also play where you just see the top three cards of the waste pile. I've seen that on some apps. So um, lots of ways to modify the game. I actually have a way in mind that really changes it, uh, changes the layout, but uses 40 Thieves as a foundation that I think does a better job telling a, telling, kind of telling a story, adding a bit of a theme. You know how my games go. Um, I use the cards as they are, but try to put a little theme in there to help with the rules and make the game a little more, uh, make the player, help the player get invested in the game a little more. Four of clubs. I know I already passed through some twos. See, we're uncovering a lot of those aces now. I'm just going to double check my layout here. Make sure I don't have any plays that I can make. I guess I can move 
H10 here. Nah, I can use that. Did I have a jack of spades? Nope. So I think I mean a lot of a lot a lot of solitaire games, especially the traditional ones, are just a matter of whether the game it can, is blocked or not, depending on the deal. So a lot of games they're determined based on the deal, and this is certainly one of those games. But what I think where the skill comes into play is an individual's ability to analyze the tableau, to remember what cards they've seen or what they haven't seen. And, and or to be able to decipher what they haven't seen yet. And then basically just not missing those potential moves. And for some, that's really fun. For others, it is not. Um, I think it's a good practice uh, for, for those analytical skills and to keep your mind sharp. In fact, there's a, you can play this game AARP, which is typically an organization for retired folks they have card games on their website with really chill music so they actually have 40 thieves on there i think i'll just take you through this deck once the other eight eight oh. really need a two i need some twos man queen of clubs i can't use i can use that I need a three of spades. Can't use that. I can use that. There we go. Ooh. Um, five of clubs does not help. Kind of spades see on uh, some versions you can move an entire pile so i should be able to it would be nice to be able to pick up this 10 9 and 8 and move it over here on the jack but i can't do that on this particular version eight seven six five I'm just looking for a three of spades it's got to be in this stock and that's going to help me immensely when i get to it there we go another two of spades and now i need a three I always love when I make these videos too because I inevitably I miss a move that would have helped me solve the game or win the game. Um, so I'm sure I'm doing that here as well, making some mistakes. Seven. Nope. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Bring that down. Six of hearts does not help. Ooh. If only I could move this. Nine of hearts anywhere? See, it's buried again. As So you can see how playing where you can move the piles helps speed the game along. There's my three. Finally. Well, not the one I wanted, though. <laughs> ah. I just realized I missed a, a, a rule. When you empty a... Oh, boy. Once you empty a column, you can move a card into it. You can move a king. At you. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to undo. Oh, can you undo? Mm, yes, you can. Four. Ha. <laughs> Five. Hmm. No four. Hmm. Right. 
What do we need? We need that three of spades. I cannot have already passed over them. Or else this game is going to be blocked. So I could do that. Hmm. Yikes. All right. Well, that's all I'm going to show you today. Um, so I came to an end here. I got the game has been blocked. So I can either restart or um, undo a bunch. <laughs> but essentially, this game is done for me. That is 40 Thieves. And yeah, if you like it, let me know um, down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Keep on playing.